All right, we got four word problems to go over here. So let's, uh, let's jump right in. Um, so this is a common one here, so we'll read it. Uh, Brad is N years old. Matt is five years younger than Brad, but he's three years older than Kevin. Which of the following represents their combined ages? Okay, so they're going to... I mean, it's multiple. It's gonna be multiple choice, but like, you'll get different formulas, right? So we start off, and they said Brad is n, right? Okay, that's all we need to do there. And Matt, he's five years younger than Brad, right? Brad is n, so Matt is n minus five. Okay, and Kevin, right? Um. So Matt is five years younger than Brad and three years older than Kevin. So Matt is three years older than Kevin, which means that Kevin is eight years younger than Brad, right? Okay. So then what we, all we're going to do is just combine those three. So that will look like n plus n minus five plus n minus 8. And sometimes they, the calculator tries to do stuff for you that I don't want. All right, so then we have 3n's minus 13, right? Negative 5 plus negative 8, negative 13, okay? And that's really uh, the final answer, right? And you're really done there, if you want to be, of 3n minus 13. Now, if you want to check this, like, you know, seeing, thinking in these algebraic terms confuses you, which it does for plenty of people. Um, and then we can go ahead and plug in something. Okay, so let's say um, we know that Brad is supposed to be eight years older than Kevin, so we'll pick a number at least greater than eight, right? Um, just so we don't have Kevin not exist. All right, so we'll say Brad is 10, and Matt's five years younger, right? And you could have picked any number, right? Um, and it should still work out. Matt is five, and we'll say Kevin is two. Okay. So if we have Brad being ten, Matt being five, Kevin being two, that is uh, a total. Like if they ask for the to their combined ages, right? Is that's a total of seventeen, right? And let me get my marker. All right, so we have this formula here, 3n minus 13, okay? And that total is 17, right? Now, we just said that Brad was 10, yes? Okay, remember that Brad was n? So we go Brad is 10 times uh, 3. I just did it backwards, but it was 3n. Same difference, though. Um, minus 13. 10 times 3 is 30, minus 13, we end up with 17. So you don't have to do all this extra stuff, but this was just, if you want to check your answer, you can plug in some numbers and then plug it into the formula, right, and, or the equation, and see if you still get the same answer, right? This one, when we plugged it in to the equation, the 3n minus 13, we got 17, and over here with these numbers, we also got 17. Okay, so that's just a way of plugging it in and make sure it works. Next one. Okay, so Anne is three times as old as Beth. In three years, Anne will be twice as old as Beth. How old is Anne right now? Okay, and so when you get things like this, these are plug-in answer choices. There is a way to solve it without plugging in, but this is plugging in is really the much, much easier way to go about it. Okay, and so as we're going to just go ahead and pick the correct answer rather than go through the wrong ones, but we'll show a wrong one. Okay, so say that, okay, so if Anne is nine, and we said Anne is three times as old as Beth, right? Right there, three times as old as Beth. Okay, so nine divided by three is three. So right now we're saying Anne is nine and Beth is three. Okay, and then three years later, Anne would be 12, Beth would be 6, right? And what they say is Anne will be 
twice as old as Beth in three years. And 12 is twice as much as six. And so that's the correct answer, right? And you could just go through these for each of them. But if you wanted to see uh, one that is wrong, okay, look, look, look at a chance answer choice A, right? Where Anne is six. And since um, that would mean Anne starts off being three times as old as Beth, right? Okay, so six, three times as old, so that means Beth is only two at this point, right? And then three years later, Anne is nine, Beth is five, and nine is not twice as much as five, so you know that answer is incorrect. And then you can just go through uh, each of the answer choices, and the only one that works there is that answer choice where Anne is nine and Beth is three. Okay, we'll go back to text mode here for this one. Okay, so a number that is squared is equal to the number plus six. Which of the following is that number? Okay, so we just sort of uh, will write this out step by step, right? Once you've written it out, then it's just a question of some basic factoring. Um, so a number that is squared, right? Um, so actually, I'm going to use the marker. Uh, this thing does not like to write squared numbers very much. Okay, a number that is squared. So x is our number squared is equal to, so that's equals, the number, which again would just be x plus 6. Okay, which of the following is that number? Okay, then you'd have answer choices, right? Okay, so what you do here, so this is now, uh, we're just getting into like a little quadratic formula. So subtract x and subtract 6. So we can have uh, 0, right, on the right side. So then we have x squared minus x minus 6. equals zero, yeah? Okay, and from there, you just need to know how to do these things, right? And this is its own little topic um, for us. Um, and so if this is if this is confusing, uh, the video either on factoring or on quadratic formulas uh, will be helpful. But the way that we do it is we know that we're gonna have an x here, and we know we're gonna have an x here, and then there'll be a number here with a negative or positive, and a number here that's negative or positive, right? And so we need these two numbers to multiply to negative 6 and to add up to negative 1, okay? And so if we go like negative 3 and plus 2, that should work, right? Because negative... Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Um, and then to make sure we mu we need should, can multiply it out, right? you go x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. That now looks like a mess. But anyway, we have x minus 3 and x plus 2 equals 0. And then to solve for this, right, because the answer is 0, so we need within this x minus 3 right here. So if we have x equals 3, that will work. Right, because 3 minus 3 is 0. And um, on the second one right here, it says x plus 2, right? And if x was negative 2, the negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Um, whatever was on the other part wouldn't matter. So that would work as well. So those are the possible answer choices that are correct. And that's how you go about solving this one. So that was a tougher word problem. Uh, one of the tougher word problems that you would see. And we got one more. Okay. Brentwood Country Club. So it says Brentwood Country Club has 750 members, four times as many senior citizens as non-senior citizens at the club. 
how many senior citizens. Okay, so really key number there is four times, right? So four times, that would be the same as 4x. Right? So we go ahead and put in our 4x. That's That represents the senior citizens. And then we also just need regular x for the non-senior citizens. And the total number is 750, right? Okay, so then if we combine these, we get 5x is 750. Okay, and then we're going to divide each side by 5, right? So that we just have x. And that's, again, x would represent the non-senior citizens, right? <clears throat> 750 divided by 5, you do get a calculator for this exam, so um, you don't have to go and write it all out or anything, is 150, right? So 150 is the number of non-senior citizens, yes? And remember that we said 4x was the number of senior citizens. 150 times 4 is 600. I don't know why I circled 150, because really 600 is the one we care about. But, okay, so there, that's the senior citizen number. Up, up, up here is the non-senior citizen. And if we add 600 to 150, we get 750. And that is uh, the total number of members. So anyways, the answer for this question is that there are 600 senior citizens at Brentwood Country Club.